internet. It is Saturday the 27th of October 2018. This video is gonna be a very interesting long format video and if you are at all interested in the telecommunications industry in Australia then I do suggest you listen. It's not my regular content by any stretch. The phone call that ensues in the video is directly related to my Gives A Minute content. The last two live streams I did on this channel and the one on Gives uh, on CreatorCast, all those technical issues are directly linked to this phone call. The first part of this phone call, I didn't record audio. 37 minutes into the call and I decided, man, this is getting ridiculous. So I started a recording on QuickTime Player on my laptop. So that's the first thing to note. There's a difference between the recording and the length of the call. The call had already been going for 37 minutes at the point when I started the recording. The second thing to note, for the first hour or so of the call, I didn't use the vlogging camera. I just recorded the audio. That's why you'll just hear the audio and you won't see me talking. Then as that phone call progressed deeper and deeper and deeper, I thought, you know what, this has to be vlog. So I grabbed this camera. All of it will make sense. Let's just get into the part of the call where I started 37 minute differential. That starts there. Enjoy. Uh, so what was your name again? Uh, my name is Tata. Tata, I just need to let you know I am now recording this call for training and coaching yeah, purposes. No worries. No worries, sir. Um, yeah, just, no worries. just so that the recording is clear, I'm speaking to Optus and I've been on the line for 37 minutes. Now, Tata, you're saying you're going to put me through to another person after you, you can't help me with my inquiry. Is that correct? That is correct because I'm from the billing department and uh, it appears that you need a device. Yep. Um, I don't have that option here to organize a new device for you. And yet I did not ask to go through to the billing department. Someone, one of your guys put me through to the billing department. So Tata, what, I, what I'd like you to do is can you put me through to whoever you think I need to speak to to have this modem sent to me? And further, further than that, can I go through straight to their, to their manager so that I don't have to speak to another team member? I want to speak to a, an, a, an SME, a subject matter expert or a team leader because now we're, we're looking at 38 minutes on the line here to get nowhere, basically. Okay. All right. Um, I can't guarantee, sir, that you can be put through to a manager or a team leader uh, because when we transfer the call, basically it's just a department that we can choose to which you will be connected for that matter. You're saying you can't do that or you can do that? Uh, I can't. Um, because the the department it's a hotline only number that we can put the transfer to. So there's no um, there's, there's no a one number to a manager as well. Um, I cannot guarantee about that. So you're you're saying there's no one in a higher management position that you can put me through to. When you are on the right department, you can request for the highest person responsible on that department. You can basically, but if you ask me that I can connect you directly to that person, there's no way I can. Okay, okay. Because so you we use... can only put you through to the department, so you... not to a specific person. Like okay. For instance, you asked me to transfer you to the last person you spoke to, uh, we have no way to transfer you a specific person. Well, that's really because strange. We transfer just a department that we can, can you, transfer. Can you understand... Can you understand how frustrating that is from from my point of view? Because I did not get, I did not ask to be put through to you. I was dealing with someone, and they said, "Hold on the line. I'm going to sort this out." And the next thing, the next thing, you come on the line saying, "How can I help you?" And I've got to explain the entire situation again. And now we're at 40 minutes, and you're going to put me through to someone else that I've got to explain the entire situation yet again to. Yeah, I wish I uh, I know what's going on, and I could have just and did not answer your call because if only I know that you're not on the right department that you're calling or you're being transferred to. If only there's a way that I can determine that, I should have not answered your call. But there's no way that we can determine where's the call from and what the concern is about. Only when we speak to the customer, that's the only way. Uh, that we will know. What a great system you guys have got there. All right, mate, whatever you need to do, just put me through to whoever you think. You've heard my situation. Whoever you think I need to deal with, please put me through to them and f please make it fast. Sure, sure. Okay. I'm so sorry for this uh, for this uh, transfer, which is an incorrect transfer, sir, but um, 
So am I. I think um, it will be on the sales personnel um, because you don't have that device with you yet, right? So you are advised to get that device. I, ha- I have a you contract. Have to use that phone. I'm within contract with Optus. I don't have the modem. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the that's the dilemma here. So you need the modem as advice from the uh, was that the tech guy who told you the first place that you will be. Um, I have. You will need to use that SIM card to a device itself. I have no idea who that was. When I who recontracted, when I recontracted with Optus, the guy said, "No, just use the SIM in your phone. Don't even open the secondary SIM." And that hasn't worked for me. And that's why I've called you it today. Right. Okay. All right then. So I'll be connecting your call to the sales team because they're the only one who can organize a modem. Uh, because here in my end, like I said, I can only organize sending a bill. But uh, this is not regarding bill that you're calling about. Okay. Do you so got? Do you guys? Do you guys? Answer. Do you guys put notes in your system so that the person picking up the call can can understand what's going on, or is this literally me having to cold explain everything yet again? Uh, well, that would be a good tough question for me, sir. If that person created the note, we can see. But if they are basically transferring you over so that means they don't make a notation as well for that matter great you guys have got a great system there at optus thanks very much just just please put me through and let's get this done sure thing. thank you okay i'm putting you through to the sales team okay no okay cool thank you sir far out can you bear with me oh yeah i'm bearing barely can you, can you believe this this is like this this recording, I'm talking to the recording now. This record, right. I'm putting you through now. Sir. Yeah, yeah, just do it, man. The less talk, just okay. do it. Oh, Jesus, this recording is only five minutes long, but I've already been on the phone for forty two minutes with these guys. Far out. Here we go. Welcome again. to Optus Online Sales. This is Alan. Can I get your order number, please? Uh, I don't have an order number, Alan. I'm not sure why you would. Ex- yes, sir. Um, sir, what will be the reason for calling, sir? Okay, before we start, who, what what department are you in? Online sales? Yes, sir. Okay, I okay. All right. So here's the situation. I don't know I don't know why I'm speaking to you. I'm an Optus customer. I was out of con- I was out of contract 2 months ago. I was about to sw- I was about to swap to Telstra because I'm an online YouTuber. I stream to YouTube and I was going to swap to an unlimited data package with Telstra. I rang you guys at, when I was out of contract and you you guys, the guy I spoke to, said to me, no, please don't leave. We've got an offer for you. I'm going to send you a secondary SIM. You're going to use your existing handset. We're going to give you 230 gig of data. All you need to do is use your phone. Don't open the second SIM. Just use your phone and you're good to go with that for, for, for 12 months. Okay, cool. Great. I signed up to it. Sounds good. 12 months is the great time period because as you guys told me, 5G rollouts coming next year and then you want to sign up to a 24. So that's cool. Everything was fine. I didn't even open the secondary SIM that he sent me. It's still sitting in the little blue package right here. I've been trying to stream to YouTube using my phone and your 230 gig SIM and it doesn't work. It consistently drops uh, the sync connection to the tower and my stream dies. Now we've done all the tech back end to work out that it is the phone and the SIM that doesn't work. I rang you guys this morning to explain this and you guys said to me, you definitely need to put that second SIM into a mobile broadband modem. We recommend the AC800S. You should have been, he said, you should have been sent one when you signed up. You haven't been. We'll get one sent to you immediately. And now I'm 44 minutes into a conversation who I've spoke to at least. You're the sixth person I've spoke to explaining this story from very beginning all the way through to the end. And the person that I speak to, in this case it's you, always puts me through to somebody else and i got to start the whole conversation again. Can you sense my frustration? Yes, sir. Although, in the case, if it's a data connection, sir, that will be for technical department, sir. It's not a data connection issue. I need to have the modem that the secondary SIM card goes into, the AC800S. That's what you guys have told me to do. Okay, let me check, sir, because uh, what will happen is this will be a recontracting request. Uh, but let me check the account, sir. What's the uh, phone number, sir? Zero. Three, nine, three, double, 
Benon Kirpsch, 29th of August, 75. And that is the sixth time I've had to tell someone that. Far out. I mean, if that's in this package that you've sent me, it could be. Let me just let me just open it. Um, I'm looking at this sharing your data with your mobile activation opt-in. I don't see a number here. I mean, there's no. Is, should there be a phone number on here? A new phone number? It's actually the, the phone number that was uh, just a clarify again. The phone number is zero three nine three. That's right. correct. That's that's my handset with the sim with one of the sims in it, obviously. Okay, so, um, let, let me just verify again the account just to make sure. Uh, what's your complete name and your date of birth, sir? This is number seven. I'm doing this. My full name is Benon Kirbsch, 29th of August, 75. Okay, thank you so much for that information, sir. No worries. So let me just check this one if uh, there was a data sim included on the account. So can you um, still stay on the line? Let me have this one. There, there is. I'm holding it in my hand. Okay, but let me uh, confirm the existing account, sir, yeah. uh, regarding this one. So can you stay on the line? Yes, I, I'll stay on the line. <laughs> Oh my god! This recording is now 10 minutes in, but my entire phone call is 47 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh my, this is... Optus, come on. What is with this hold music? That ain't helping at all. Wow, that's terrible. No problem. Okay, uh, just to clarify, sir, because currently you're uh, using a, a SIM only plan, and yeah. uh, the only thing that was added, uh, the reason that the mobile broadband uh, SIM only plan was added on your account is to be able to share the 200 gigabyte. So you won't be charged for additional um, uh, $10 per one gigabyte uh, on your plan, so it will just be fixed the 200 gigabyte. 
Right. I'm not sure what all that means, but that's whatever whatever you guys did to keep me as an Optus customer, that's what you did. Yes, sir. Actually, that's the uh, additional uh, service that you got right now. Uh, this is a SIM-only plan, sir. That's correct. So in terms of the device, sir, it's, a, um, it's like a packet Wi-Fi, sir. Yep. The one that is suggesting. And if in case we're going to have this on the added... Um, uh, let me clarify, because you still you just started the contract uh, for this one last August, I believe. Yep. Or, um, and you still, uh, your contract will end until next year, as of September. Actually, September, by the way. September, you started the contract September, so this is for 12 months. Yep. And then in case we're going to cancel this one, you might be charged with the cancellation fee, and that's the one we're trying to avoid right now. Look, I, I don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel my plan at all. I'm happy with the data that I'm getting. I just need to put this SIM card into a modem that you guys supply. Okay, let me still check, sir. Can you still stay on the line? All right, no worries. Why is this so freaking difficult? 51 minutes and 55 seconds. Of course, this call recording is only at 15 minutes at this point, but I've already been on the other call. Far out. This is so frustrating. I can't listen to this music. I cannot listen to that music. I cannot listen to that. I cannot listen to that crap. Why do we need hold music? It's 2018. Can't they come up with something better? I mean, now I'm stretching, but I am super frustrated here. I'm not changing my plan. That's not what I'm calling for. I just need a modem. I'll pay for the freaking modem. Just send it to me and get this done. That's not what they said to me earlier, though. They said, yeah, yeah, pop that, pop that sim that you're not using into the modem we'll send you. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. That's, this is an hour out of my day. Not cool. Not cool, Optus. Waiting, sir? No problem. Okay, um, actually, from here, yeah, sir, the option that we got is it's either you recontract this one to a 24 month contract together with the device, or uh, you can um, purchase an outright with a with device with the, um, the packet Wi Fi or the, the, the modem through our local store, sir. Right. Well, I'm not going to recontract because you, you guys are bringing out your 5G connections next year. That's why that's why your man sold me on a 12-month package. So he, he that was him that did that. He, he suggested we do this split mobile broadband yes. second SIM deal. I, I didn't want to do it, but he told me you should do it. So I did it. 
So what what is the what is the outright cost for an AC eight hundred S modem through you guys? Okay, let me just check, sir. Actually, that will be to our local server. But let me check if we have our our list here. Can you still stay on the line, sir? Yep. Look, I'm happy to buy the thing. I don't care if I've got to pay for it. I just want it resolved. Optus. Far out. You sold me on this package for this stupid secondary sim. Now I've got to put it in a modem. And i got to pay for it. Who's having a laugh? You're having a laugh. Oh man, this is terrible hold music. It's not even music. Oh my god. Sometimes I think that this music they choose is specifically put there to aggravate and annoy you. I mean, if they really wanted to keep people calm and they knew that I've been on the line for 57 minutes, 20 minutes on this audio recording, they'd play soothing sounds of the rainforest and waterfalls and fairies and dancing queens. Instead, they play this somewhat loosely described music. And now I want to go and kill somebody. There better be some consolation here. If I'm paying for this modem, then there better be some consolation. 20 bucks off, free shipping or something. 57 minutes on this call and plus the call this morning. <sighs> Telecommunications. Okay, no problem. Okay, for the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, um, the device is what we call the AC800S. Yep. And um, the price for this one is $240, sir. How much? 240 Yes, sir. That seems a little pricey, I'm going to be honest. That's a little higher than I thought. I thought you'd be coming back with about $150. Um, although, this, this is the price that we're getting right now on our list, sir. Right, so so two hundred and forty dollars for me to put this SIM card in a modem that you guys sent me. I mean, how how else am I supposed to use this SIM card you sent me? Um, actually, this uh, this is a pocket Wi-Fi, sir. It's a what? You can connect using it's a pocket Wi-Fi, sir. A packet Wi-Fi. Yes, sir. You you mean pocket or packet? Uh, pocket. A Wi-Fi hotspot, sir. Yeah, look, so, hang on, so that doesn't require a SIM card, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, sir, you're going to insert the data SIM uh, to this device, sir, to be able to get connection. Yeah, okay. So any device can connect on that pocket Wi-Fi, sir. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're talking about the same thing, the AC800S. So here's my situation. I've been on the line now to you guys for one hour. Um, Mm -hmm. This recording I'm making, this audio recording of you and me talking has been going for 23 minutes, but I've been on the line for one hour. Is there any consolation from you guys that you're going to offer me? Because let's let's look at the the situation. The only reason I have this second sim is because you guys sent it to me. I never asked for a second sim. You said we'll we'll hook you guys. We'll hook you up to this deal where you get 230 gig, but you're going to have to get a secondary sim. But don't open it. Just use it. Use the one sim. We'll we'll combine it all into your phone. And what I'm telling you is that. For what the reason I stayed with Optus is because I needed more data, and I'm streaming live to YouTube. And you guys told me, yes, you can do that on our 4G packet. It's going to be fine. We'll send you out this extra SIM. Don't use it. Just use your phone. And I'm telling you now, two weeks in or two months in, that that does not work for me at all. So what I'm asking you, from Optus to a customer that's been there for what close to nine years, if you look at my history. You're going to charge me two hundred and fifty odd dollars for a modem to to perform the service that you sold me on initially. Is that what I'm hearing? Um, because that's an outside purchaser. Uh, like I mentioned, we do have offer for that dongle or for the uh, for the bucket Wi-Fi. If you're going to recontract this one for twenty four months. I'm, that's the thing. I'm not recontracting because of what you guys have told me. Where you said you're bringing out five G connections next year. And you sh- and you you guys told me you shouldn't sign up till twenty four. You should do a twelve month, and that's why I'm on the plan that I'm on right now. So my my point my point my point is my point is what you've sold me doesn't work, and you're going to charge me more to get it to work. I just want to be clear if that's if that's what's happening here. Okay, because the way I understand, sir, although I'm not from the tech of the technical team, sir, uh, initially you requested for more data, right? Yes. And that data was added on your account to be able to share it with your phone, since you're using just your phone uh, for your data connection. If, if that's your terminology is all whacked because no data is shared. All of my data is on my phone. I don't know where this share yeah. thing comes from. Um, actually, since this is under one account, the 200 gigabyte that was on the SIM card that you're not using is shared with your phone, sir. Yeah, that, and that's okay. So that's the shared part. But you, all, you guys also told me don't even open that thing. Just put it, put it in a drawer and forget about it. Use it all on your phone. So that's and that's my frustration. It doesn't work. And then I called you this morning to explain that, and you guys said, "Oh, you absolutely have to put that extra SIM card into a AC eight hundred S to get the better connection from it." And now I'm ringing you to say that that's what I think we need to do. And it's taken an hour and three minutes, and now you're going to charge me an extra two hundred and fifty. I'm happy to pay a hundred and fifty, but I'm not paying two hundred and fifty to use a thing that you sent me in the first place. Yes, sir. Because um, if you're complaining with the connection, sir, or the speed, uh, it's not the speed; it's the sync. It drops the sync all the time. Yes, sir. And that's for technical team, sir. Yeah, but that but that's yeah, what I'm uh, that's like what I'm saying. Uh, you're using your phone for the connection, sir. Yes. And the SIM card it was added just for to add your addition of data. Correct. That to one gigabyte. That's correct. It, it doesn't affect the speed of the because you're not using that SIM card. Exactly. So you still um it will be to our technical team, sir, to be able to check the speed in I your don't, area. I, I, I don't want I, I don't want to check the speed. We've done all that this morning. That's what I'm saying. I I rang you guys and I fault checked this and they said everything's fine, you're connected to your tower, everything's legit, it's all good, you got all green lights, everything's fine. I said, then how come whenever I'm streaming to YouTube, four or five minutes in, it drops the connection and then it resyncs. The guy on the line, the technical guy that you're talking about putting me back through to, told me you absolutely have to use one of our modems for this not to happen. And that's why I've called you again to get that sent to me. Can you understand where, where I'm, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All those um, same things, sir. If you're using the same signal that your phone is getting with that modem, still, um, if you're getting a fluctuation with your signal in your area, it also affects the same connection, sir. 
with a socket Wi-Fi. It's the same signal. It's the same phone tower for sure. But your guy said, "Yes, sir." Your guy said you will you will use a Cat Nine connection on the AC eight hundred, and that will enable you to uh, get a solid, a more of a solid connection with a higher sync speed and a better upload speed. And that's that's where that's what that's what I need. I'm signed into you guys for twelve months. The service doesn't work for what I need it. Live streaming to YouTube. The remedy from you guys, the remedy is to use one of our modems. Now, I'm on the line here with you trying to get that sent to me, and you're going to charge me $250 for that privilege when you guys oh, no. sold me on this package thing, this shared data thing to start with. Pretty lousy, you're going to say. Um, like I mentioned, sir, um, you're calling from online sales, sir. Your call was connected to online sales. I've, uh, I've, 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 I've no idea, dude, dude, I'm going to stop you. I've no idea who I'm speaking to because you've put me through. You're the sixth person I've come through to, so I don't know where I'm at. I rang the number and I explained the situation and that first person said, you've got to talk to this person, put me through. The next person said, to put you on hold. Then I keep getting bumped around. All I'm saying is that to use the service that you sold me on, you guys told me I need to use this modem. Now, how can we get one sent to me? Yes, sir. Because, uh, like I mentioned, the one I'm offering you is you can get this one to our local store, and I'll try to purchase it if you want. To, if you don't want to recontract this one, sir, you can buy this one to our local store, sir. Yeah, I, I su I'm suggesting that two hundred and fifty dollars is a little bit over the top of the price that I would expect. Yes, sir. Uh, although uh, we don't have that um, on our answer to be able to give you a discount regarding this one, because, like I mentioned, um, this is an outright purchase to our local store, sir. So you, so you, so you, so, answer, so you're saying, you're saying to me as a customer of Optus that you cannot bring up a express delivery of the AC eight hundred using my account details. You can't do that because um, that's what you, that's what you should be doing. You should be saying, look, sir, we understand that you've you've recontracted to Optus for a maximum data so you can stream to YouTube. We understand it's not working through your phone. You're going to have to use that secondary SIM we sent you. To do that, you're going to have to put it in one of our modems. Now, there is an outright cost involved, but we're willing to waive that fee or bring it down to a more suitable level uh, to do what you said that you wanted to do, and that's why you're still an Optus customer. But if you're, if I'm clear about that, and that's not what you're offering, then this 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 conversation we're having is going to be the reason why I don't re-sign after the following twelve months when you do well, finally you, bring you, out. You, like I mentioned, sir, I don't have the access in terms of giving out discounts or waiving out charges. But like I mentioned, sir, um, didn't you didn't you say you were billing? Didn't you say I'm speaking with billing? No, sir. I'm, you're calling from online sales, sir. Right. So, so I don't like I don't know how you work out your back end of your systems, but I just I'm just trying to get to a point where you guys acknowledge that what you've sent what you've sold me two months ago isn't actually correct, and I'm going to have to pay the cost to get it to work. Is that that's what's happening okay. here? Um, in the case, I might as well transfer you to our customer service uh, for, 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 for this one. Because like I mentioned, uh, on our end, what we do is just recontract and for new accounts. And in terms of speed, that will be their technical team. Uh, in terms of um, concern regarding a discount or a waiver or in terms of the offer that we give it to you, sir, it will be now to our customer service. So can you stay on the line and me transfer the call, sir? So uh, just before you do that, am I going to have to explain this entire saga again? Technically, yes, sir. Because um, apparently, sir, from, from here on our answer, what we can offer is give you the price if you don't want to recontract with the plan. Uh, that's the price we have on our local store. Huh. And if in case, in terms of if you're complaining regarding the offer that was given to you, sir, uh, it will now be to our customer service, sir. Far out. So, okay, so let me uh, transfer the call now. Um, but thank you so much and have a wonderful day, sir. Thank you. One hour and 10 minutes on this absolutely ridiculous phone call to Optus. You guys are hearing 33 minutes in. Now I'm one hour and Hello, 10. Hello, thank you for calling. This is Ray. How may I help you today? Hello, Ray. My name's Ben on. I'm already on the line to Optus for one hour and 10 minutes. I'm extremely frustrated. I'm very, very near the end of my tether. I'm going to explain my situation to you very clearly. And I really hope you can help me. 
My name is Ben on Kirpsch. My date of birth is 29th of August, 75. My phone number is 0393 And that's the seventh person I've told that to. I see. Okay. Could you repeat your um, date of birth again for me, Ben? And sorry, I just 29th of August, 75. Thank you for that, Ben. And, okay. All right. So with that in mind, um, all right, I've pulled up the account. Um, what seems to be the situation? Okay. So two two months ago, I'm, I'm an Optus customer for nine years, approximately, probably even longer than nine years. Two months ago, okay. I came out of contract. My specific requirements were, if I was going to recontract, were to have a high data rate so I can stream. I'm a YouTuber. I need to stream live to YouTube. I need a maximum couple of hundred gig. At the same time that I was about to contract, Telstra brought out their unlimited plan. I did not want a new handset. I'm happy with the handset that I just paid off for two years with you guys. So you guys told me, well, how about that? How about this? We'll offer you uh, a, a data rate, a shared data package where you can get about 230 gig it's going to cost you 80 bucks. It's cheaper than what you're already paying for 3.5 gig. So that sounded great to me. Now, the way that your guy put that back together in the back end was by doing what he calls a shared data package. He sent me a second SIM. He said, the second SIM will happily sit in your drawer. Don't even open the package. Just leave it there. Just use yeah. all the data through your handset. Okay, great. That sounds fine, man. I'm happy for that. Perfect. So he signed me up for 12 okay. months. The reason he said 12 months, and this is specifically because he told me that you guys are bringing out your first 5G handsets around about this time next year. So he said, you don't want to be in a 24-month contract because you'll want to bump up to a 5G handset around about this time. Cool. That sounds great. I'm happy for that too. So he signed me up. Okay. Two months in, I've been using this service. I've been trying to stream to YouTube it constantly drops out. The sync to my tower, which I can visually see from the top of my house, constantly loses signal. I'll get five minutes into a live stream and the data will just drop right off and the live stream will die. This morning, I rang up just to explain this saying, look, I'm not happy with what's going on. I can't, I can't use this service for what this man sold it to me for. It doesn't. It won't stay constantly connected to your tower. When I explain what I'm doing, the guy on the line said, you absolutely have to take that SIM card, the one, the secondary SIM that we sent you, and pop that into one of our modems. Now, he recommended the AC800S because it is a Cat9 modem. He said, you need this Cat9 connection, so that way you'll have a stronger connection to the tower and you won't lose sync. I said, that's fine, dude, no worries. Let's organize to get that sent to me. He put me through to a bunch of people Nobody could really get me get me through to the right end point. It's come now an hour and 13 where I've been on the line trying to have this modem sent to me. The last gentleman I spoke to said, I'm going to have to pay for the modem at a cost of $250. I expressed how I think that's a little bit overpriced considering the only reason I have this extra SIM card is because you guys sold me on the package to enable myself to get 230 gig to live stream. Now, I'm not sure what department you are. I'm not sure where where I stand with this, but all I need to do is have a AC800S sent to my house to remedy this situation. I'm happy to pay a portion of it, but I'm not happy to pay $250 considering you guys sold me on that package initially. I see. Okay, so well, the main concern is that, um, well, for... Adding in, say, devices to plans or ordering devices, it's either that, uh, well, usually uh, for this kind of case, because you already have the services, okay, and that you're looking for them to buy the hardware. Um, at this point in time, since you have the services, okay, um, okay, because the options I can, or I'm trying to think of this would be, um, well, one would be, say, recontracting the mobile broadband into a plane with um, with the modem attached, but you're currently in contract, so that, and you, as you mentioned, you didn't want to be on a 24 month contract, okay, because usually uh, plans with device uh, with devices attached are for 24 months. Um, the second option would be, of course, as was mentioned to you by the previous representative, would be to um, have a uh, modem um, purchased outright. So. If that was the price advice, it is most likely the case. I haven't checked yet. Okay, but um, 
that would be it. Because uh, that, those are two ways for you to get a modem for this service. If a modem would be sent out to you or you were to purchase one in store, um, I believe that you would have to pay for the full device. It's up since it's not, it's not attached to any plan. Right. That's the, I understand that. That's exactly what the last person has said to me. I understand that very clearly. My point to you is, is there going to be any consolation from Optus towards me as a customer who re-signed based on the information that you guys gave me uh, and the fact of my history with Optus, what, over nine years in the back there of me being uh, contracted with Optus? So the, 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 point, the point I'm trying to make out here is that what you sold me doesn't do what initially you told me it would do, and I want to rectify it. Now, I'm happy to come and contribute and, and pay a portion of that, but I don't believe that $250 is appropriate for something that initially you guys said I wouldn't even need anyway. I see. Um, I wanted to make a few inquiries about this particular situation, then. Would it be all right for me to put you on hold for just say one to two minutes? Yeah, look, okay. look, I'm I'm happy to go on hold, but I'm very, very clear that if if I go on hold and then the next person to come on is another representative, it's going to be extremely frustrating because I've already explained this situation to at least six representatives. I'm an hour and fifteen oh. into this conversation, so that's how long oh, this no, call's no. been going. Of course. You have my guarantee that I will not transfer you without knowing to buy you first. I really just need to make a few inquiries on my end. Okay. okay. Understood. Thank you very much. Thank you as well. Thank you. Here we go. On hold again. Now this this call is this recording is now at the forty minute mark and the call is at the hour and seventeen minute mark. Can you can, like can any can anyone feel with me on this? Can anyone feel with me? I understand that I'm going to have to pay something for this modem. That's cool. But 250 bucks to have a modem do what the guy that sold me this SIM card I'm holding in my hand, not the phone one, the one that's in my hand, to have that work as per what the guy told me it would work, now I've got to pay for that? Can... can can you sense my frustration? I can. Oh, dear, dear, dear. This is not how I wanted to spend my Saturday, I can assure you of this. That noise you can hear upstairs sounds like Timbo using a Dremel or a vacuum. Oh, I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to stay in a positive frame of mind, but I'm just super, super frustrated. There needs there needs to be some kind of resolve. Here we go. No problem. About this particular situation, I'm afraid that the options I presented to you earlier, either recontracting on a 24 month contract and get the um, getting a modem or purchasing the one outright, are, are only two options. And for the full price, 
Okay, understood. So let me ask you this. Is there any other modems that I could use that would achieve the same thing that I don't have to buy through Optus? Because if you're, um, what I'm understanding is you're, you're saying to get the maximum um, speed, uh, the maximum connectivity using our SIM, you're going to need the AC800S. But there surely would be other modems I could use as well that wouldn't be as, as uh, expensive. I believe there could uh, there would be options, but I'll just have to double check um, on this particular detail because this would have to be advised by our sales team. I'm afraid um, I can help you with details on your account, but for um, the best modems, I believe they would have, uh, be better equipped to discuss that with you. Well, okay. okay. If, if that's if that's the case, if I can speak with them first. Oh, if, I, you're going to speak with them? Yeah, I, I thought you were going to put me through to them. You, uh, yeah, if you'd like for me to, uh, I'll still have to put you through so they can discuss it further with you. No. But if you'd like, I can speak with them first to inform them of the situation. I, actually, no, I, I'd rather I'd rather not have to be put through to another another team and have to explain uh -huh. everything again. I just want to be a hundred percent clear. If if I if I used a modem that was not Optus modem, is it going to work? That's that's my question. I'm not quite sure as for the advice of that. One, okay, because you mentioned that. Um, well, generally, you mentioned that your phone is the one um, cutting uh, uh, connection from the tower with a cutting connection from the tower. Wait, cutting connection? Do you mean that you're still connected, but it's buffering, or that's that's does correct? Connection drop out in in state that um, the signal itself is lost. I, I constantly see three bars of four G, yet the connection to YouTube through my streaming pro, uh, software just continues to drop kilobytes down from 4,000 down to 200 down to 100 so I I, under, I I know technically what's happening but the remedy from you guys was to to put the extra sim into one of our modems now I'm um, now if you're not going to offer any kind of discount or any kind of you know you're not you know you're not going to come and say look we, we've messed up here and we want to keep you as a customer you you're basically closing the door on me so and and funnily enough, you want me to sign up to a twenty four month contract after you've treated me this way. It seems a little, a little bit of a slap in the face because I definitely won't be signing up again after this twelve months. That's for certain. I, I do understand what you mean, but I, I meant earlier by the twenty four month contract is those were the two options in order to get the device, as was stated by the previous representative. Now, I'm, it's just that I'm not really well equipped to answer that particular question to see about how you can maximize your data. On, um, because this seems to be a connection issue, which would usually have to be discussed by our tech, technical support team. Yeah, I, look, I'm happy to deal with that kind of thing later. But the the end the end result of this call, just so that we're very clear, um, I'm not sure if your previous consultant mentioned that this call was being recorded for coaching and training. But I've been recording this whole conversation, so I want to be 100 percent clear on the end result from from this hour and 23 minutes talking to Optus. You guys are not going to send me a modem. You're going to make me pay full price to have it to, to pick one up from a store, or I've got to recontract for 24 months. Is that correct? Those would be the two options for you to get a modem. Yes. Okay, understood. We're very clear with that. There's no one. There's no one in a, a higher authority that you would suggest or recommend I speak to to possibly have some kind of consolation. you from what you've just told me. That's the end of it. Is that? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, that is as per my inquiries on the situation as well. Okay. As long as we're 100% clear, as I've mentioned countless times, I'm a YouTuber and, and this will be going on YouTube as a documentation of this experience through Optus and, and how this is how this is all rolled out. I see. So just to confirm as well, okay, you're looking to say um, document your experience about uh, the situation on YouTube as well. Am I correct as a YouTuber? That's right, yep. That's the whole. That was the whole point. That's that's the whole reason I signed back up to tell, uh, to Optus is because I need to start live streaming and I needed more data because I've been on a two month contract with you, a two year contract with you guys for three and a half gig, and that obviously is not enough. And so your guy told me, "Oh, I'll send you out this. We'll do this shared data thing. It'll be awesome for you. You've got the handset. It'll be less than what you're paying, and you get two hundred gig, two hundred and thirty gig. Oh yeah, cool. That sounds awesome. Send it to me. It doesn't work." And now I'm trying to get it to work, and it's you're, you've just told me the only way to get it to work is to either pay upfront for a modem that we sell, kind of ironic, or recontract again for 24 months and to get that modem free. 
Now, look, I'm happy to pay a contribution to the modem. That's what I was explaining because you, you, like I'm, I'm just trying to be ultra, ultra clear. The whole reason I'm doing this is to stream live to YouTube and that's, yeah. I feel like I've repeated myself a hundred times here. I, I, do under, I do understand what you mean. Okay, so basically, uh, when you signed up with us, okay, so you um, it was offered to you to get a higher data capacity, but when you're using this data capacity, the quality itself is the one that seems to be um, the main concern. So not not, 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 the qual not the quality, the connection. You, my, my, uh, yes. I can physically see the tower from my house, but the uh, sink yes. co constantly drops out, and when you're live streaming, I'm not sure if you're aware, but of if you if you drop it, that. that's correct. Yeah, yeah, I, I do watch much you have time, but just to confirm as well. Okay, is that um, because I'm trying to get to the, of course, the main the root of the concern, which is of course you have a lot of gigabytes, but when you try to use these gigabytes, it comes up as a, a sort of a. Uh, dropping connection. By the dropping connection is that you're still connected to the tower, but like it, the the connection seems to drop down in the terms of the of the rate. That's correct. I believe the term is sync. The sync it the the connection the sync loses the sorry the phone the data the sim in the phone loses sync with the tower. I always see three bars of four G connection. Never it never changes to two. It's always three, but it loses sync. And therefore, the stream dies. And when I spoke to you guys this morning about this, you you guys said, "Yep, you've got to put that secondary sim into our modem to ha to have that. It's got to be a Cat Nine modem, and that'll stop that issue. You'll be you'll be good to go." And the whole reason, one hour and twenty seven minutes of this phone call, is to try to get that Cat Nine, the AC eight hundred S modem, sent to me. But if I'm hearing correctly, you're going to make me ch pay full price for it or recontract my. My contract. I, I think that's ridiculous, and I'm I'm a YouTuber, so I've been recording this entire conversation, and I will be making a video discussing how this has played out. That's, I see. Yeah. Okay. Please bear with me because I'm still trying to, of course, assist you with this one. So that would be, of course, the details with how to get a new modem. Is that with the plans that you currently have? Is that it would have to have to be recontracted it's a 24 month plan or you'd have to pay that one outright it, of course it's the two options that i was advised now i'll need to make a few more inquiries about this particular situation would it be all right for me to put you on hold again for just one to two more minutes yeah that's that's cool no worries thank you all right cheers ah more funky music this is an hour and 28 minutes on this call uh, 51 minutes on the audio recording, one hour and 28 on the call. Uh, so what I feel feel is happening here, the, when I mentioned I'm going to be making a YouTube video on this, that's obviously sent this guy into a tailspin, and rightly so. I feel like people need to be, um, there needs to be a light shed on this. Like, like I explained, the only reason I have this extra SIM card sitting on my bed in this little funky blue sleeve from Optus. The only reason I have this is because they told me, you you don't need this. You put it in your drawer, forget about it. Now you've got 230 gig, you're good to stream. That's the only reason I'm on this plan. And now I'm being told, if I want this to work, I have to use their modem and I have to pay for it. It's frustrating, it's annoying, I'm willing to pay a poor, I'm not willing to pay 250 bucks for it, but I'm willing to pay something for it. I'll, I'll kick in 150 if that's what it takes. Um, but I believe that this is a, a call that people need to hear, and there needs to also be some kind of um, documentation that, you know, like in, in five years from now, when all this kind of rubbish is resolved, and these kind of calls ne no longer happen. I think this will be a historical document of how terrible telecommunications was in 2018. That's with my fingers crossed because I don't think this will ever be resolved. Oh, sorry. Yes. So I, made, I made a few inquiries about your particular situation. But, um, as for the details, okay, I'll need to uh, contact our escalation team. Okay, would you be willing to stay on the line for just to say a few more minutes um, while I give them a call? I may need to refer you to this specific team. Okay, so that's because of the situation at hand. Right. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. As I mean, do I have to explain the whole situation again? Is that is that what I'm? I'm I would have to speak with them first 
to explain the situation. Okay, so you have to, of course, repeat yourself. Okay, and so of course, advise them, of course, of the of the recent uh, complaints as well as for the uh, and as for um, our conversation. Yes. Okay. okay. Understood. Understood. Of course. Of course. Just please stay on the line. I'll give them a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you as well. Wow. Okay, I'm going to turn that down. There's more banging going on upstairs. Timbo must be building something. So there's the frustration. Now, I probably should have used the term escalation team a lot earlier in this call. We're 53 minutes into the audio recording, one hour and 31 minutes onto the actual phone call. I probably should have used that term escalation team a lot earlier. I feel like this could have been handled by a... Um, you know, it could have been handled better. If not even escalation, I feel like retention team should have been the words that someone mentioned. Because I'm, I mean, I, I guess I can't leave the contract anyway. I'm 12. I've got 10 more months. But what I'm saying is that the it seems like the moment you mention YouTube and that you're going to make a video, things change. And I'm not. I, I don't want to leverage my YouTube channel for this. But if if this is this is a particularly interesting scenario because the only reason I'm in this position is because, ironically, I'm streaming to YouTube. And that's the only <laughs> the only reason I've got this data plan from Optus is so I can stream to YouTube. Can you see the irony here? Now I'm starting to find this a little humorous. It took me to mention YouTube and to mention a video to get some kind of uh, progression on this call. And by the way, the reason I didn't do video on this recording is because I'm sitting at my laptop and like there's a there's a difference in the call. So I'd already been on the call for 30 minutes or whatever before I started this recording. I didn't think to get my um, vlogging camera out and set everything up. It happened that quickly. Um, I regret not filming it, but you don't when you when you make a phone call to these people, you don't expect it to take one hour and 30 minutes and you don't expect to have to go through all this crap. It's 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 frustrating, um, but here we are. And uh, escalation team is probably a good thing. Um, just frustrating. I mean, it's now it's tw twenty to five on a Saturday afternoon, and I've been sitting at the edge of my table on my bed with my laptop on my lap and my phone plugged into the, the charger for one hour and 33 minutes to Optus, Optas. I've heard people call them Optas before and I understand the emphasis is on the ass. Pretty frustrating. By the way, how's the plan I was on before this? 3.5 gig of data. I was on that plan for two years. Who, who would sell I mean, I guess that would have been 2016. So, yeah, 2016, I signed up to that plan and I paid $100 a month for an iPhone 7 Plus and 3.5 gig of data. That just seems like that's that's the amount of data you go through on the phone, uh, on the train, on Facebook, just between stations. <laughs> There's definitely some noise going on upstairs. If you can hear that banging, they're putting a light in or something upstairs. Unfortunately, you just have to deal with that like I am. You think it's easy to deal with Optus and have roadworks going on upstairs? So yeah, I was pretty stoked to be getting 230 gig. Um, that's a big step up from uh, three and a half gig and it was $20 cheaper because I paid for the handset. That's why I'm happy to have an iPhone 7 Plus. I don't need the latest iPhone 10X and 10XS and all that. I've just got this guy, it's, it's fine. Shoots 4K, it's beautiful. Great stabilization. That's really annoying. Right above where I'm sitting as well. But yeah, all I needed was to have a lot of data and to be able to stream. And this connection issue, this syncing issue, is super frustrating. One hour and 35 minutes and 58 minutes on the audio. That's, that's annoying. I mean, you can hear that banging, right? 
<laughs> That's not me, it's Timbo upstairs. He's obviously installing something. He's a bit of a handyman, Timbo. Timbo is my mother's partner for those playing and wondering. For those watching this video, why have you watched all this? <laughs> this is frustrating for me to, to go through this phone call, let alone watching it after the fact. Very frustrating. Interesting. I might I might ask him a question about um, because when you make this initial call to Optus, the first thing you hear is, "Thanks for calling Optus. This call may be this call may be recorded for coaching and training purposes. If you do not wish for this to be ha to this to be recorded, please advise your your Optus representative." So that means Optus have a recording of this. Maybe I could get them to send me the beginning of this conversation. That would be pretty handy to, to patch that all together. That's in, by the way, if you're listening, if you're watching this video and there is the beginning of this conversation, then just ignore everything you've just heard. I managed to have that happen. They sent it to me. And if they didn't, then all of this will kind of sound a little weird. Why is he talking about something that never happened? You know why? It's because I've been sitting here for one hour and 36 minutes. My bum is numb. My left cheek is numb here. This is super frustrating. I thought this would take 10 minutes. I thought this would take 10 to 15 minutes max. <laughs> Dear me. One hour now, the audio recording. So there's a 37 minute discrepancy that you... What is all that tapping? Just tap once. Gonna be, that's going to be frustrating if that happens when Yeehaw Optus come back on the line. Yeah, there's a 37 minute discrepancy in the calls here. So I've been on the line with Optus for one hour and 37 minutes and this audio recording has been rolling for one hour and 33 seconds. It is what it is. <sighs> Come on, Optus. Of all these, of all this conversation, the, th the most frustrating part about this is when an Optus representative says, "I'm going to put you through to someone else." Ah, oh, sorry. When they don't say that, they're talking to you, and they say, "I'm going to put you on hold, sir. Can you hold the line?" And then the next thing happens: it, someone else comes online, and says, "Hi, thanks for calling Optus," or "Hello." You've called Optus or whatever it is. It's like, what? Hello, thank you for patiently waiting. You're okay, welcome. So I made a few inquiries about this particular situation with our installation team. They've advised me to first speak uh, with our technical support team to see if about any issues with, um, say, um, connections or coverage in your area. Is, is that okay? I've, I've done that already this morning, but if, if you want to do it again, then sure, but I've already done that. Mm -hmm. I see. And what have they advised earlier? All green lights, everything's good to go. There's All been, green lights. yeah, no problems. Okay, and I'll just try and verify that one as well. Um, sorry about that one. Uh, just to confirm, um, is your address still in 49, the marina? Um, Colbara Beach? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, just be there with me for just a few minutes. Okay? Yeah, okay, no worries. All right. So, that banging upstairs is getting wow all right so he didn't put me on hold initially um yeah what i was saying is that's really frustrating when they uh, say they they just put you on hold and then someone else jump, someone else jumps onto the line and says hello sir how can i help you and then you've got to explain the entire saga 
again. Now I'm getting really frustrated with this knocking noise upstairs. It's just a series of, of a, a, a series of frustrations. And by the way, my mother just bought a barbecue and she brought the barbecue in and she's, well, we brought the barbecue in and I said, look, I'm gonna, I gotta call Optus first before I, I've gotta resolve this issue. So I rang Optus thinking 10 minutes later I'll be done. One hour and 40 and my mum is still waiting for me to install this barbecue. It's now quarter to 5 p.m. on a Saturday. I think the plan was to fire that barbecue up for dinner. I'm sorry, mum, if you're watching this after the fact. I'm gonna to get to that as soon as I get off the line with Optas. One hour and 41 minutes in, far out. And my temper is seething. I'm holding it together. What is the banging? Like, what are they doing up there? Meanwhile, this insidious music plays. Are you hearing this? This is terrible. Oh, someone. Elon Musk, can you help fix the telecommunications industry in this country, please? Australia is crying out for something better. Actually, the whole world is. This is not systemic to Australia. At least someone fix that hold crap. The whole music. That's got to be fixed. Someone has to come up with a better solution to that. Like, that's... Like, why, why do we even need music? Who said music is what you need to have to be on hold? Why can't there be some... Like, why can't someone be reading to you? Like, you're going to be on, on hold for 28 minutes. Here's a short story. It goes for 25 minutes. So, you know, you could get celebrities to read stories. Far out, man. Then you'd be happy to be on hold. Remember that time I was on hold and... I don't know. So, I can't think... I'm so frustrated. I am so frustrated right now. One hour and 42 minutes and 50 seconds. The audio recording's gone for one hour and five minutes. The actual conversation has gone for one hour and 42, 43 minutes. Optus, Optus, you should be giving me a modem by now. This, this, this has gone on too far now. Too much, too much. You should acknowledge how wrong this is. Time is money, as they say, you have just wasted yours. <sighs> wow. Now I gotta do a poo as well. This isn't gonna work. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What am I going to do? I've got to do a poo. How am I going to do this? You know what will happen. I'm on hold. I'll go into the bathroom. I'll take the audio recording and my phone. And the moment I sit down to poo, he'll come back. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Here we go. Sorry about this, but <laughs> so what happens when you're on hold, right? Pop this down here. content that 
I wanted to put, I'm going to put paper in the bowl so it doesn't make noise. I'm going to cough over the top of this. <coughs> you didn't want to hear that. I'm going to turn this back up actually so you can hear that more than you can hear me doing. Yeah. Excuse me. Can you believe this? Sitting on the toilet, talking to Optus. One hour and 45 minutes this call has been going for. Wow, this is frustrating. No problem, thank you. Okay. So I actually spoke with our um, tech support team. You mentioned that when you advised them, uh, when you spoke with them earlier, it was green light, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Um, I asked for them to check your address to see about the coverage in your area. But they, um, as advised, they were able to find that number for key connections, which is what you mentioned you had. There is, um, it is rated as no indoor, so that's why you're getting a slow connection. And you're actually within a black spot for three key connections. That's yeah, that's so interesting. There, there seems to be an issue with the coverage. As for what I just spoke with the technical support team. Okay. Well, I've got three bars right now in in my room, and no matter where I move in the house, I maintain three bars. So I'm not a hundred percent certain if if the what did you call it low low coverage indoors. Um. It, they mentioned it. They termed it as a low indoors. Um. Rating for. Uh, so would you would you suggest then that this service that you guys have sold me isn't adequate for what I need? I'm currently just making inquiries about that one as well. I'm just waiting for uh, the pickup, uh, for our to get back to us. Just please bear with me. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. That's interesting information. I'm in a low coverage area. I'm going to be honest though, low coverage areas are pretty much all areas in Sydney. So I don't know if he's got any grounds there. I don't know anyone that's got a good coverage area on, on uh, Optus, to be completely frank about it. Um, yeah. Does raise an interesting question though, if if this is a low coverage area, then why sell me on this plan? That's kind of a bit it's like it's like saying we know you can't use what we're about to sell you, but we'll sell it to you anyway. It's not very uh well it's not fair, is it? It's not fair trading. By the way, I'll have to uh get off this toilet. <laughs> Thank you.
What's the bet? The moment I get up and flush this toilet and wash my hands, he'll come back on the line while the toilet's flushing. Almost guaranteed, right? Okay, that didn't happen. I'll stand corrected. Well, there's something I didn't expect to do. A poo while on hold to Telstra. <laughs> oh, you gotta be able to laugh, don't you? Because this is not really a laughing matter. Where are we now? One hour and 51 on the call and one hour and 14 on the audio recording. To say that I'm over this is an understatement. I am completely and utterly over it. Wow, come on. But that's the first time I've said the words come on on this phone call. I, that's it's kind of unique. Come on. Did you hear that thump from upstairs? So noisy. Yeah, that's the first time I've said the word come on on this phone call. You'd think I would have said that plenty of times before now. Hello, I'm um, Bennett. Yes. Okay, so I requested assistance from um, Pow, okay, from Tech Support, okay, about this particular situation. I have explained, of course, um, we want to do a coverage check on the area. Now, they were the ones that advised me of this one detail as well, but they don't get the details on your account. But just to explain, okay, um, what this one means is I'm not um, really trying to um, explain the situation as for your coverage and as uh, for the details of your uh, services, would it be all right for me to pass a transfer to Pow? I've explained to them the situation um, that they'll just explain to you uh, the details of your coverage in your area, okay, so that you can make an educated decision about what to do next. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, that sounds cool. No problem. Okay, sorry about the long um, call, Benin. Okay, um, I hope I was able to assist you a bit today. I'll be processing a transfer to Pal, okay, from tech support to assist you further, okay? So I won't be talking to you again? That's that's the end of our conversation? Just to confirm, okay, once I transfer you over to Pal, that would be the case. I'll be taking the call from here, explaining the coverage, and then um, advising you of your options as for your service. Okay, I understand. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for so much for your patience today, and I'll talk to the transfer. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Please. I've got to turn that down. I'll turn that down. So being transferred now to, what did he say? Faults, technical and faults, to explain the coverage area and what the options are because of the coverage. That's where this is headed. So it looks like the way this is going is that in this area, I don't have access to their service that they've already sold me to use. That's probably where this is headed. Damn, what an interesting twist of events. 
One hour and fifty-five minutes. A shifty shifty. The audio recording has been rolling for one hour and eighteen. If you're still watching this video, why? Yes, hey, Bannon. Hello, I didn't quite catch your name, yes, sorry. sorry. Uh, this is Paul from the technical team. Uh, good afternoon. You were transferred uh, by one of my colleagues uh, named Ray. Uh, this is regarding your coverage in the area, right? Okay, sure, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically I uh, have explained uh, to the last representative that the reason why you are getting drop, um, dropouts for 4G connectivity is because it is showing here uh, on our end that you don't uh, have a good connection when it comes to 4G. And uh, for your 3G, uh, you are also on a block spot. Uh, I believe uh, you are having some troubles as well when uh, using the, the 3G coverage. I actually, I never I never see 3G. I only ever see 4G. I see, I see three bars of 4G on my phone mm -hmm. nearly all the time. Um, mm -hmm. That's right, but um, you are experiencing uh, trouble when it comes to 4G connectivity, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, because when I checked uh, here in your address in 49 the Marina, uh, it shows here that uh, you only got 700 megahertz uh, when it comes to the 4G connectivity. And um, in order for you to uh, get a... Uh, a good coverage, uh, you should have at least 2100 megahertz, all right, for you to be able uh, to maximize the 4G connectivity. So that's the reason why, uh, even if uh, you are seeing three bars or three signal bars, and then also uh, 4G connectivity, it's dropping out. Uh, that's because uh, you are can connect only with 700 megahertz. Okay, so, so that is uh, really not a good. Uh, indication of 4g connectivity so just from a technical standpoint why would mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. would that be the case if i can if i can physically see the tower from my mm -hmm. premise uh yes that, that that is uh not an assurance that uh though you are seeing closest towers uh in the area i uh, would provide you coverage because there are uh interferences uh when it terms uh, to connection as well so that's the reason why um, even you are seeing the tower uh, closer uh, to your address right now, still uh, we are considering the interferences and uh, we can have that uh, checked here on our map. So that's the reason why uh, that explains your dropouts when it comes to 4G connectivity. We're, we're, we're talking... Uh Less than less than three kilometers from here to the tower. Mm -hmm. That is right. That is right. So basically, even uh, you are near uh, to that tower, it doesn't mean that uh, you are getting your connection to that tower. So you are gonna you are getting uh, your connection to another tower. Mm -hmm. So, in, so let me go ahead and check that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. In terms of in terms of that, would you suggest that I'm not always connecting to the 4G tower? I'm connecting to a 3G tower as well. Yes, that is right. And then uh, for your 3G, uh, there is a problem with that because uh, your address, when in in terms of um, Optus connection or Optus coverage, your tower is positioned in the block spot. So when we say block spot, uh, that is a that is the uh, interference wherein uh, your uh, connection is being blocked. So right? so this block spot. what do, what do you recommend? Because the technical team I spoke to this morning, when I mentioned that there was these issues, they suggested that I get a AC800S modem because it uses the Cat9 uh, protocol where it, it combines different frequencies together. Now, are you are you suggesting that wouldn't help me at all? Uh, for that one, um, I'm sorry, what, right now, what is uh, the modem that you are using? I'm not using a modem. I'm using my my mobile device, my Just phone. Your mobile device. Yes. Okay. Because for me, if I will not suggest that, because if there is already a problem uh, when it comes to connectivity, uh, chances are you will getting uh, drops uh, drop offs as well. 
when it comes to 4G. So because uh, your 4G connection is only 700 megahertz upon checking here. And then your tower right now uh, is connected to uh, Kulbara Beach. So let me go ahead and check that. Uh, how far is that uh, on your address? Yeah. All right, so that is the, the nearest tower that you are seeing there uh, from your home address. Yes, that's correct. I can okay. physically see it from my window. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So that is the uh, only tower here. I, I believe um, it is also because um, the interferences, like what I said, um, that is the the block spot for 3G that affects uh, your connection as well. So that's the reason why uh, there is drop-offs uh, when it comes to your mobile data for so 4G connection. Can I, can I confirm then that what you're telling me mm -hmm. is the tower, the Optus tower, only broadcasts mm -hmm. in, at 700 megahertz? Is that what mm -hmm. you're telling That is correct. That is correct. So is that all Optus towers or just my Optus tower in Kalbara Beach? Uh, just tower in Kalbara Beach. And the maximum it broadcasts at is 700 megahertz? Mm -hmm. That is correct for 4G connection. Okay. And a, no a normal 4G connection requires how many megahertz? 21, 21 megahertz. So then why would Optus sell me on this data plan specifically using this data to stream to YouTube if it doesn't work? All right. So I'm so sorry if uh, it wasn't uh, checked because... Uh, the reason why I was able to check that is because you complain about uh, the the coverage in your area. So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I, was... I didn't complain about the coverage in my area. I complained that I keep losing sync. Now you're telling me that mm -hmm. the reason that I lose sync mm -hmm. is because yes. my tower only broadcasts mm -hmm. in the 700 megahertz that's spectrum, right. mm -hmm. and that's not that's enough. Right. That is not enough to sustain a 4G connection. Mm -hmm. So the re mm -hmm. the real issue here then is not. Is not about a modem and about getting me uh, hooked up to a modem that can do a Cat9 connection. The real, the real concern here is that you guys sold me a service that you know wouldn't work. So that's. Um, I'm so sorry about this one, uh, Bannon. If um, this happened, uh, if you were advised uh, that there is good connection in the area where in fact there is none. So if you would like, I can go ahead and uh, refer you to our coverage specialist team, all right, uh, to provide you options, all right, uh, when it comes uh, to connect uh, to connectivity of your device. But um, of course, uh, for me, um, asking my own opinion, I... I don't want you to pay for something that you do not get. Exactly, exactly, and I'm 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 now locked in to, to you guys for ten more months to a to a service that you've just told me will not do what the guy that sold it to me told me it would do. So I don't think I don't think if if that's if that's what you're telling me, those are the facts. Then I think that this call needs to be escalated to your your superiors to issue a refund of this service because. The okay. only reason I have this service is to live stream to YouTube mm -hmm. through your 4G mm -hmm. connection. You're telling me that that won't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So right now, since um, you signed up, uh, Ben, and, uh, is there is a problem uh, already with your live streaming. Is that right? Absolutely. I can't live stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, yes, I'll go ahead and have this um, already endorsed to our coverage specialist team so it can be escalated uh, to to a supervisor, all right? So stay with me on the line. Don't hang up yet. Okay, I'm not hanging up. Thank you, Benan. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Benan. One moment. Wow. Can you hear? Do you hear where this is going now? We are now two hours and four minutes in, and this woman has just told me that the mobile tower that I connect to, the one that I can see from my mother's window upstairs, not even three kilometers away, only broadcasts in the 700 megahertz spectrum. And to enable a 4G connection, you need 2100 megahertz. So they've sold me a product knowing that it won't do what the guy told me it would do.
and now I'm, st I'm stuck with it now. This extra modem, this AC800S, which we've been talking about and talking about and talking about and trying to organize to get sent and me pay for and recontracted, all that crap makes no difference because the service doesn't even exist here. Wow, Optus, this. <laughs> I'm gonna need a drink. Gonna need a drink. Gonna need a stiff drink here. Wow. I did not expect this crap. No way did I expect this crap. That This is incredible. Holy crap, Optus. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out, of, I'm out of this. If if that's where we're at, I'm out of this contract. I'm getting a full refund. They can have this extra modem thing, that, uh, this extra SIM card back. They can have the one out of my phone back. I am done with this. And now I'm on hold, but there's no music. And that's always a concern because there's usually that crappy, tacky, wacky music that you get annoyed at. And when there isn't, you think that, did the operator press the right button or am I in this weird limbo state? I feel like I'm in limbo right now. And after two hours and six minutes to be cut off from this call, well, it wouldn't be that unusual. It wouldn't be that out of the blue, but it would be super frustrating because there is no way I'm calling them back after this. No way. This, this video will go on YouTube and that can be a documented recording of how this crap exists and what can be done. I don't know what can be done about it. I don't know. Why would they sell me a service that they know doesn't work? <laughs> All right. Ah, dear, dear, dear. One hour and 30 on the call, two hours and seven, uh, sorry, one hour and 30 on the audio recording and two hours and seven on the call. What, what, what? One person to the, what's this? This is now eight, this is either the eight or the ninth person I've spoken to, to get to, to, get to this point. This is like to get to the point where Optus have said, well, we sold you something that we know doesn't work. Um, you're locked in to tw and they wanted to lock me in for 24. <laughs> he wanted me to pay for the modem and lock in for 24 months. And that wouldn't even, f that doesn't even work here. Oh man, I'm starting to see. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. One hour, I'm just, I'm repeating myself because I'm super frustrated. It's now 10 past, it's 12 past five in the afternoon. Two hours on this phone call to Optas. What? And now we're, what, what's, what's going on? I'm, am I on hold? Am I, are you, am I even there? How, so this is the question now. My phone is just sitting there. It's not me. Oh, here we go. You're still there? You, that's, this is, all right, this is what's wrong with, well, either I'm on hold or I'm not. Where? What's going on? I don't hear any funky tunes. That's a concern. We expect a team member will be with you in the next 30 minutes. Did you? Da, what, 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 what? A, did you hear that? Did you hear that? We expect a team member will be with with you in the next 30 minutes. Three, zero. Can you fathom what I just heard? We expect a team member will be with you in the next 30 minutes. That's all, I'm already two hours and nine minutes in. And now they want me to wait 30 more? What? Oh man, I'm I gotta turn this down. This 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 is baffling. I feel like there should I feel like for for the sake of this, 
video this this document there should i should be getting my camera out and i should be showing you that all of this is actually legit because you could be saying you're listening you're watching this video and it's there's been no graphic it's just been the, the call and you could be thinking this, this guy's making this all up well i'm going to get my vlogging camera out and i'm going to show you that this is actually legitimately happening far out of this come on All right, just bear with me while I put my microphone back on my camera. I was doing some ASMR this morning and I took that microphone off, put this back on. Just, just This is just so that you, everybody watching can actually like fully appreciate the, the severity of this situation. Now I'm on Auto there, auto there. Okay, so I'm about to turn the camera on. This is the visuals of what's going on here. So I've got my laptop here recording, the audio recording. This is what I've been telling you I've been doing. This is the audio recording. Let's wait for the GH5 to focus there. Where is it? Oh, it's ringing. That's cool. Poppy, how can I help you today? Oh, hello, Poppy. Um, am I am I new to you? You haven't been given any feedback or any information about my call at all. No. Okay. Before we go any further, I have to let you know this call may be being recorded for coaching and training purposes. Okay, certainly. Okay, so um, I've already been on the line to Optus now for two hours and eleven minutes. My audio recording of this call began. 30 minutes after the fact. My audio recording's been going for one hour and 30 minutes. Um, so, so you know nothing about this call at all? No, I do not, I'm sorry. Okay, um, what department have, have they put me through to now then? Mobile Solutions. Mobile Solutions, so you, okay, so do you have information on coverage areas, maps, um, uh, solutions to er errors in your area or yeah I'm not from the technical side of things no I'm really from the cancellation department oh the cancellation department okay so that makes sense then so basically you so Optus you guys have sold me a service that I've just confirmed by talking with a technical person that the area I live in does not have the tower to sustain a 4G connection. Um, I'm not sure how well you are versed in this, but she told me my tower only broadcasts in the 700 megahertz spectrum, and to sustain a 4G connection, I need 2100 megahertz. And as that's the case, the only reason I have this service from Optus is so that I can live stream to YouTube using your 4G data. Now, that doesn't work. Whenever I stream live to YouTube, I lose connectivity because of what I've just been told, 700 megahertz. So I guess the reason she's put you through, she's put me through to you is to cancel my service with Optus. And incidentally, I'm, I'm gonna use the word demanding, but I'm demanding a refund of the two months that I've already paid for because you've basically sold me a service knowing that it doesn't work. Well, would I be able to start today with your mobile number? <laughs> of course you can. I've already given this to nine different people on this two hour and 14 oh, minute really call. I really apologize. My mobile number is zero three nine double five, and my, my name is Ben on Kirpsch and my date of birth is the 29th of August, 1975. That's now the 10th Lovely. time. Okay, um, if I just place your call on hold for a moment, so I could have a read through of the notes on your account. Why not? I've already been on hold for most of the day. Let's put me on hold again. Please don't hang up on me. Please don't hang up on me. No, 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 I, I won't. Okay, won't be long. All right. I probably should have. I probably should have been filming this whole thing from the get-go. Far out. All right, so what I was saying before, Poppy, who seems to be a lovely girl, she seems very energized. This is what I've got here, the mobile, uh, the audio recording 
that's being cranking there. That's this is the. I'm going to show you the difference if the GH5 will focus. There you go. So there's a differential there. That's been going for one hour and thirty-eight, whereas my phone call has been going for where is it? There you go. Two hours and fifteen. So if you are watching this incredibly long, drawn-out Optus video. You've heard me explaining, you've, you've heard the, the information on the audio recording where it's been nothing but blank and now you're seeing me and this is just to put everything in perspective. When I had to go and do a poo, this is where I did it, in here, in the bathroom not surprisingly, just here, had the um, laptop down there and sat there and just, just so you know that this is all legit, I haven't been making any of this up, that's a little wobbly up there. I didn't tighten this up. That's better. Yeah, and um, the resolution looks like it's going to be a case of um, cancelling cancelling my service. And uh, I'm definitely, definitely demanding a refund. 100% demanding a refund. What this means for my live streaming is it's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel my live stream until I get an internet situation here. Can't use this. We've we've worked this out now. Um, I I did two live streams and they were fraught with disaster, constant dropouts. We dropped out on CreatorCast on the live stream there so many times. It's now I'm being told it's because Optus broadcast from my tower in the 700 megahertz region, not the 2100 megahertz, which is what's needed for a 4G connection why they would sell me a 4G plan after I explained that the only reason I'm doing this is to stream live to YouTube. That's the concern right now. And Poppy may be the one to resolve this. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. What a sorry state of affairs. I'm gonna put this over here. Actually, can I, st I'm gonna sit that there. Can I put you there? Until we come back off hold. That's on a bit of an angel, but it'll have to do. It's gonna be there. Why is that still wobbling? You hearing this music? Optus, get it together. This isn't cool music. This is crap. All right, oh, here we are. One hour and 41 on the audio recording and two hours and 18 on the phone call. Keep this plugged in for a chargeage. How's the telecommunications industry in your country? Come to Australia where not only is the internet crap, the telecommunications, cellular, mobile data industry, it's also crap. They sell your products, they know they don't work, they still sell you them, and then when you get angry and upset, they try to charge you more. That's, that's the reality of it. This is, so this is the SIM card I've been talking about, the extra one which has been opened for the first time today. This is your little SIM card, they, they said, don't even use that. Put that in your drawer. Forget about it. You won't need it. Just use your data on your phone. We'll combine the two. You won't even need this. Then when I realized that doesn't work and I realized I might need to use this, well, then you've got to pop it in one of these. The AC800S. That's the modem that they were recommending I get. Now we find out further down the track, two hours and 19 down the track, we find out that actually, Benon, you're in an area where we broadcast in the 700 megahertz range and uh, you can't actually get a 4G connection there. So, well, unfortunately, that's not gonna help you. This isn't gonna help you. Nothing's gonna help you. The confusing thing is, I'm on 4G. You can't see this because it's got Wi-Fi call. I'm on a 4G connection here with three bars constantly and that's, that's never changed. Um, but 
in terms of syncing and in terms of using this connection to upload, you heard her, the woman that said 2100. Okay, oh, sorry, I was just talking to the camera. Okay, thank, uh, thank you for holding. No worries. Uh, look, uh, now I've just been informed that um, I do apologise. Uh, now you have advised me that you're um, recording this call. Yes. And unfortunately, I'm able, unable to continue on with this call due to privacy reasons. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, well, can you put me through to someone that can continue the call? Because at the moment, um, where I'm at, uh, you guys are recording the call to start with, so one of us is recording it. Um, the reason I'm recording it is to document it because you guys have essentially sold me a product that you've acknowledged doesn't work. Um, I'd like some kind of resolution. And I'm a YouTuber, and that's the reason I got this product in the first place, to use it to stream to YouTube. So you can sense my frustration. I thought that's who I was talking with. No, I'm cancellations. Cance okay, cance okay. All right, cool. Cancellations is different from complaints. Understood. Yeah, okay. Pop, pop me through to them. <laughs> okay. Now, um, I, however, I'm not quite sure whether they will be able to continue talking as well due to the fact that you have advised your recording. Part yeah. Of the privacy policy. So I'll, um, I'll put you through. Okay, thanks, Poppy. Thank you. Just to pop me through. I had to put that in there. Can you, did you get this? They, they record you every single time you call them. And then when you say you're recording... Where are we? I'm just gonna lower the volume on this crap. Uh, where are we now? We are 1 hour and 44 on the audio recording and 2 hours and 22 on the phone call. And in case you think I'm making that crap up... I don't know about the GH5 focusing on that, but I'll get... If I get my eyes out of it, usually it focuses better. Yeah, the GH5 uses the eyes to focus, so that might might not have been exactly in focus. That's two hours, 22 and 25 seconds. This is one hour, 45 and 27. And look, the, the, the end result of this is if, if they say, uh, if, if it comes down to two hours, two and a half hours, and they say we're not willing to go on any further, even though I've told previous consultants that I'm recording, if they come and they say it's no longer, we can't have this discussion, I'm gonna say, well, this is what I'm, this is the deliver, this is what I'm making. This video is the raw, uncut recording and it's gonna go online to document and to showcase how crap this, this customer service is and how crap the initial service and the fact that you've sold me a product doesn't work. You know that it doesn't work and yet you've sold me this product. Now I feel like that is a valid, very valid, um, concern and a very valid point as a as a consumer and as a customer I feel like it's within my rights to have this knowledge and this information be delivered to the public especially as when you call up this on 131344 you do get this call may be recorded for coaching or training purposes if you do not wish to have this recorded please consult your consultant I guess that's fair they say if you don't want it to be you can consult I have done that in the past. I've said, I don't want this record recorded. And they've said, oh, well, uh, we'll have to um, call you back then. And uh, they never ever call back. It's kind of it's like they have that in place. But then when you say, I don't want it recorded, they don't have the rest of the stuff in place to hit stop on the recording. Whereas I clearly do. I can stop that and I can stop this. I'm not going to. The call, the call will end that way. Just saying, I'm not going to... I'm a YouTuber. I'm not going to back down on this. Recording. I'm happy to cancel the Optus contract and and cut my losses and therefore no live streaming even with dropouts just give it up. It's finished Wow Two hours and 24. I don't know when I'm gonna to get to that barbecue I've got to set the barbecue up. It's now five look in case you think I've been lying about the times it's Saturday The 27th of October come over here That's still wobbling Saturday the 24th of October and it's tw sorry the 27th of October come on focus focus 
focus. We're going slow, it might. There you go. 27th of October, and it is 5:28 p.m. And here's my audio recording still going. And there's the phone still doing its thing. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm just going to put this back over here, I think. Poppy is getting a little sloppy. I like that name, Poppy. Are you okay over there? You're good. Should I put this light on? Is that better? Maybe it's a little better. I thought Poppy was going to really resolve things here. Poppy, you've let the team down. Isn't that strange though? Whenever you do, whenever you make these calls, there's never any back-end conversation between staff. Like you'd think that someone would go, uh, I've got this guy on the line. He's clearly frustrated. This is a pretty strange situation he's gone through. Um, this is where he's at right now. Um, I'm going to put him through to you because you can help him with the techno technological aspect. But then when you're done, pop him back to me and we'll talk about contract or recontract or discount or something. But instead, it's like you, you constantly get this new person and you have this like a clean slate every time you talk to someone. It's not a very good thing. It's not a very pleasant thing to have to do as a consumer to have to explain yourself all the time, repeatedly to everybody. I'm gonna sit upright, my back is sore. I've literally been sitting here. From the moment I hit the record on the audio recording, I've been sitting right here on my bed, except for when I sat on the toilet to do a poo. Been here the whole time, two hours and 26 minutes. I've got nothing else to say. This music is terrible. This is why nobody likes calling telecommunications. <sighs> uh, we're not having a barbecue tonight. It's five, it's five, I should be barbecuing. I should be having a beer and doing a barbecue on the new barbecue right now. Instead, I'm sitting here with Optas getting more and more... Fr my face is all hot too, I'm flustered. Flustered, frustrated, hot, over it. Benon, we've just discovered that your cellular area, they don't use cellular, that's US, your mobile area, uh, the tower that we have broadcast in the 700 megahertz range, which isn't enough to sustain a 4G connection. Oh, that's interesting, Optus. Well then, why would you sell me a 4G connection if you knew it didn't work? That's the crux of this. I didn't, I didn't think this is where this conversation was winding up, but that's the crux of the matter. If you acknowledge that it doesn't work, why would you sell it to me? They're not used car salesmen here, are they? You know, it's selling a service. That's pretty frustrating. Like, I gotta, I gotta be honest. This is a, a very very unusual predicament to find myself in. Um, I've done two live streams on Gives A Minute on this channel and I've done one live stream on the CreatorCast channel where we dropped out five times, maybe even six times in an hour period. This morning on my Gives A Minute stream it dropped out before it even began so there was buffering before it even went. And now it looks like I'm going to kill the experience and just wait until we get the NBN here, fiber to the node. I mean, that's not going to help at all. That's another story. Poppy, two, hour, two hours and, well, not quite two hours, 30. Poppy's getting a little sloppy. What can I, um, how about I read to you from the, here's your new data sim Optus package. Let's get the show on the road. Sharing data with your mobile 
If this SIM is to share data with an Optus mobile phone plan, make sure you activate your mobile phone SIM before you activate the one in this pack. Well, that has never happened because that's still in the pack. I've never used it because you told me not to use it. You told me to put this in my drawer and just use my mobile and you can stream to YouTube in 4G. It's gonna be awesome, man. That's what you need, 230 gig for 80 bucks a month. It's gonna be perfect for you, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. In brackets, actual service may not work. What else does it say in here? Your activation options. You've got three ways to activate your SIM. Take your pick. You'll know you're ready when we flick you an SMS or email that says welcome. I love that way they use the word flick. You'll know you're ready when we flick you an SMS. That's to be cool, you know, like Optus. They're hip, they're hip to the jive, they're down, they're funky, they've got this. They're a, they're a company for the people, for the young people. They're flicking you SMSs. They're not just sending you one, they're flicking it to you. Cause... Hi, this is Pablo from Customer Care. Am I speaking with Benoit? Hey Pablo, yes you are. How are you going? Hi, I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Before we commence, I just need to let you know, in case Poppy didn't let you know, this call may be being recorded for coaching and training purposes. That's correct. Okay, from okay. I'm a I'm a YouTuber, so I'm making a video about my experience with Optus. Um, initially, the video wasn't about my experience with Optus selling me a product they know doesn't work. My initial video was going to be about how can I get the uh, service to do the correct thing that you guys told me it would. But now you guys have already acknowledged that the actual service doesn't work in your area, so that's why okay. I've been put through to you to cancel my service and get a refund for those two months I've already paid you for. All right. Now, um, are you, you're aware that uh, you spoke to our cancellation team prior to me, right? Uh, say that again. I, I didn't quite catch what you just said. All right. So the one that you spoke with prior to me is our one of our work cancellation team members. Uh, yes, yes, Poppy, yes. All right. Now, they are willing to cancel the account for you, but due to the privacy policy in Australia, uh, we cannot cancel your account if you're recording the call. Well, okay, I'm not so sure about that policy you're referring to. As long as I've identified that I am recording the call uh, and you've acknowledged that you've heard me say that I'm recording the call, then we're good to go. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I am recording the call. That's the point of. That's why I'm recording this to, to document this. That this is the story. The story is, um, the story is now. You guys sold me a product that doesn't work, so we need to cancel that. And I feel like this is information that the general public, uh, the YouTube community, certainly the Australian YouTube community, will be able to gain uh, an interesting. Um, amount of knowledge from. I've been on this call now to you guys for two hours and 33 minutes. My audio recording's been going for one hour and 56 minutes, and I'm looking to get a resolution here. The resolution obviously um, being a cancellation and a refund of my two months. I understand, sir, that, uh, that you would like to cancel the account, but I hope that you under and I understand that you also would like to record everything that. Uh, uh, every experience that you have with Optus, we appreciate that. But of course, uh, we have a po privacy policy law that we follow in Australia. And um, your request to cancel the account will not be able to process. We're going to continue recording the call. I hope that you understand that. Sir. Okay, that's that's the second time you've said that to me. Can you can you email me that policy so I can just quickly check it because I don't know what you're referring to. But if if that is your policy, then I'd like to see it and then make a valid decision based on that. You've got my email there with my account details. Uh, actually, sir, that information was handed over to me by the cancellation team. I don't have the actual privacy policy, but uh, we can request that from our cancellation team, sir. Okay. Well, I, I'm not. I don't mind who it comes from. Just if you if you have this policy, I'd like to see it, and then we will go from there. That's 
that's pretty, that's straightforward. You're saying you've got a policy. I need to see the policy, and then once I've seen it, I can validate that. Yep, you do have the policy, and then we can we can end the recording. But for the time being, I haven't seen anything, and I'd like I'd like to get a resolution on this issue, as you could yeah, imagine. But, uh, Uh, helping you out as well. Um, yeah, but uh, whoa, 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 whoa! You're recording this as well. Uh, all of our calls are recorded, so uh, sir, and that's a requirement. But uh, in such well. cases, where in privacy policy for cancellation is concerned, uh, that is something separate, sir. Are you? But did you just hear what you said? You said all of our calls are recorded. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So that what? Is true. So. Y- You're recording the call, but you're telling me I can't record the call because of your policy, yet you're not going to show me that policy. Uh, Sir, I did not say that uh, we're not going to show you the policy. Uh, Just like what I mentioned earlier, we can talk to our cancellation team uh, for them to provide you uh, the policy, uh, the privacy policy that uh, that they are um, discussing about earlier. I did not say that no, you can't nobody, nobody's mentioned it. Bef- nobody's mentioned privacy policy before. Before you got on the phone, but look, I'm. Really? I, All right. I'm happy. I'm happy to. I can, I can contact our cancellation team, and then I can discuss it with them. And then, if you're requesting for the privacy policy of our cancellation team in terms of recording the call, uh, which is preventing from us to resolve your issue for today, uh, we can do that. And I can do that, sir. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I'm happy for that to happen. All right, so stay on the line, please, one moment. All right, no worries. Well, this has taken another twist, hasn't it? So that's so this is the clarity, just for, for the sake of the, of the video. So he said, we're recording it. Everything has to be recorded and documented. But you can't because of our policy which you haven't seen. Do you do you see where this is? Like, can you see the the mentality of this? And look, if if they send me, I'm I'm sitting here on my email. If they send me their policy and it says uh, no recording um, of a cancellation, it's a strange thing. It doesn't make a difference to this story. the The end outcome is going to be that I cancel my Optus, um, whether they give me a refund or not. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. So the, the cancellation process, the actual cancelling, can happen off the recording. That's cool. No, no, no drama. But I just want to acknowledge, I just want Optus to acknowledge that they're going to cancel and they're going to refund and then I'll stop the recording and we'll put this down as an absolute monolithic phone call of ridiculousness. But I also feel like just because they have a policy, I haven't signed anything on that policy but I'm sure there's some clause when you sign up to your contract that anything you sign is in effect uh, an acknowledgement of all of our policies. I, I need Viva Fry to detail the logistics and the legalities of that. But at this point, look, if they say, look, so he's going to say, I'll send you the policy and I'll get the policy and I'll read the policy. And sure, the policy will say no recording of a cancellation. And I'll say, well, that might be well and true, but I don't agree to that policy. And I'm just going to do that just to see, like, see where that goes. Oh, even though I'm, I'm over this now at 2 hours and 38 minutes. But I feel like just because they've got a policy, I've got a policy as well. My policy is everything gets recorded and documented because I'm a YouTuber and I share that. So that's my policy. And they, they're doing business with me, so they've accepted my policy. So it's a, it should be a two-way street, but it's clearly not. They're allowed to record. <laughs> you heard him. He said that oh, we're, we're recording. We record everything. Yet I'm not. <sighs> oh, the mentality of this. Like the, there's some dude. There's some dude that wrote all these policies. These policies. And that directed these people to talk this way. To have this communication. And can you see how it just like butts you up against the wall? Because it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. And I'm sitting here. More and more frustrated the longer this rolls. Our policy. 
where are we now? I'm gonna show you where we're at. We are at two hours and two minutes on the call, on the audio recording. Two hours and two minutes on the audio recording. Hello. Hey, how you going? Hi, my name's Alan, I'm from the Mobile Solutions team. Hey Alan, I'm Ben on. Just get your service number first, please. Yeah, it's zero f three nine f three double. Then on Kirpsch, 29th of August, 1975. That's got to be the 12th time I've said that on this call. I've been on the line to you guys for two hours and 40 minutes, just, just saying. No, I understand. So you were speaking to one of my colleagues, Poppy, before. The reason why she disconnected the call was because you advised her that you were recording the call. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. So we have been advised by our superiors that when... Um, a customer advises us that they are recording the call. We do not, we have the option to discontinue the call just due to privacy law. Now, that privacy um, act that you want access to, that can be accessed online. It's not through the Optus website, it's actually a national policy. Um, I don't have the facilities right now to be able to find out where that is because it is out of business hours and my team leader is not here. But what I'm more than happy to do is to shoot him an email and get him to contact you when um, we get into work on Monday if you're happy with that. I'm more than happy to talk to you about the cancellation of your service though, which is what I specialise in. But in regards to the privacy, I, I don't know too much about that. My team leader would know more than I do. So I, what I'll do is I'll escalate it to them and they'll be in contact with you when they come into work on Monday. Is that okay by you? Um. Somewhat, but what I, what I would really like to have happen, um, as I am a YouTuber, I'm creating content based around this phone call, it would be, it would be beneficial to, to the greater audience if you, if you as Optus, can, if, if we can't cancel this now on the call, at least you acknowledge that you're going to be cancelling and you're going to be offering me a refund for those two months for selling me a service that you've acknowledged doesn't work. If you can... Okay, if, but with the service... With the service, all right, when did you take it out? Did you say two months ago? Two months ago, yeah. Okay, you took up the service two months ago. Now, um, were you aware under the co coverage commitment when you signed the contract that SIM only plans are not covered? No, I was not aware of SIM yeah, only. signature is on the contract. That means you acknowledge what was on the contract. Now, I can access your account and I can see if your signature is on that contract. But if your signature is on it, it does mean that you acknowledge that un under the coverage commitment that SIM only plans are not covered. Now, when did you contact us to let you know that you were having coverage issues? This morning. Okay, so this is the first time you're letting us know that you're having technical issues. Can I ask why you didn't contact us two months ago? Because I haven't used my data to live stream to YouTube until I have started my live stream last week for the first time. I've done two live streams on my channel and one live stream on a joint channel called CreatorCast. And the technical, the technical dropouts, the issues, are directly related to you guys selling me a service, a 4G service on a tower which you've acknowledged only, only broadcasts in the 700 megahertz spectrum, not the 21 megahertz, 2100 megahertz spectrum. So, okay, so regardless of re regardless of whether you say that because I've signed the contract, you've sold me a product knowing that it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, okay. All right. Can I just put you on hold for one second, please? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't turn that up fully at the start. I thought I hit it all the way. It didn't go all the way up. Can you, can you fathom now what's going on? There's another... What did he say? He said it's not his policy, it's, it's law? Uh, the law, the law is, if you tell the party, which I have done multiple times, and they have told me that we are being recorded, and there's an acknowledgement, you're good to go. So we've done that. We've cl we've cleared that up. We've both told each other that we're recording many times. What this policy is, this fair, what did he say? It's a, it's, that sounds like bullshit to me. Um, but as far as like. I was trying to direct him to say, yeah, we're going to cancel and we're going to refund. Now, it looks like that might not happen. But for this story and for this lengthy video, at least for some resolution on this, right? That's where I thought that he would be going. He hasn't done that. Um, concerning. Um, two hours and 44 minutes on the call and two hours and seven minutes on the audio recording. If you are watching this, why? I don't enjoy doing it, 
But it, I, this is important. This is this is certainly an important thing. It's a frustrating thing, but it is important. We are now looking to cancel cancel this account and the refund for two months. Paying, but they're not going to do that. It's Optus. This is going to wind up. This is how this is going to wind up. I already know. He's going to say, "You're going to keep. You're going to continue recording. We're going to hang up the call." Before you do that, sir, are you going to cancel my service and refund? I can't give you that information right now because you're recording. That's. I can see this. I can see. And then, and that's. That's going to be how this winds up. Um, but interesting to get that information about the 700 megahertz and the 21 megahertz, 2100. Somewhere along the line, someone has to be accountable for this. And it's, I'm looking straight at you, Optus. You sold me something. You knew it didn't work. You've disguised it in these policies. You've disguised it in, what is this, now 11 people I've spoke to or something? It's definitely over 10. You've disguised it in a two and a half, two hour and 45 minute phone call. You've disguised it in your policies, which aren't actually yours. You've just said that. They're not your policy. No one can send it to me. Uh, okay, thanks for holding. No worries. Um, I found the Privacy Act. So under the Privacy Act 1988, an organisation must tell you at the beginning of your call if your call is being recorded or monitored. This is so they have the option of either ending the call or asking to be transferred to another line when monitoring or recording does not take, take place if available. So if I am to continue this call, I'm choosing not to have my call recorded, otherwise I would disconnect it. Yeah, no, I understand that. That's law. I've, I've said to you guys from the beginning of this call that I'm recording it. And so every person I've spoke to has agreed. You're the first person to come on and say you don't agree. That's fine. That's fine. We can end this call. Before we do, though, I just want to find out whether you are going to cancel my service and refund me those two months. Well, I will continue the conversation if you let me know that I'm not being recorded. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Fair enough. So unfortunately, no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to end the recording. So you're going to have to hang up on me. I'm talking to my camera. I'm happy. I'm happy for you to go. If that's Optus's stance on the matter, then this will be how the video. It, it, it isn't just our stance. It's um, a lot of telecommunication companies, but look, I'm going to do you a favor. Um, I'm going to escalate this situation through my team leader. They'll be able to have more knowledge um, in regards to this than I do. I'm not going to cancel it today, only because I don't want to mis give you information that's incorrect for you to misinterpret. Um, unfortunately, it is out of business hours and we are quite heavily understaffed at the moment. But what is your best contact number? Uh, it's the one that I just read out before, zero nine three double five. But just, just, just so you know, um, I am, I am going to be recording any conversation I have with Optus to fulfill, the, to conclude this story because, like I said, I've already been on the on this line on this recording for two hours and ten minutes, and yeah, the, no, that isn't an issue. You just need to let us know when you do that. Yeah, I have done that from the very beginning. Yeah, so that, that's no issue at all. So I'll, I'll escalate it to my team leader, and I'll be in contact with you on Monday. Okay. On Monday, so okay, so fine. So you okay, cool, no worries. That's that's how you're going to end it. That's cool. Uh, I'm talk I'm happy to have that conversation on Monday. But and in, in terms of this video now, if I think you can leave, you can leave the call up to if you don't if you don't want to be a part of it. I'm still recording. Just saying. Oh, well, you, you don't you don't know who I am. I haven't told you who I am yet. I said Optus. Okay. Yeah, I accept that. I work at Optus. But look, um, we'll wait to speak to you till Monday. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm still going to be recording on Monday, but whatever. No, fine, that, fine. That, that's not an issue, as long as you let the team leader know. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, right. un 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 day. understood. Okay. All right, so you saw, you saw how that ended. Um, kind of confusing. Um, we don't authorize you to record, but call, we'll call you back on Monday and to let them know you're recording. Wow. All right, so the resolution for this point of this video, at the end of this video, is not a lot. Um, I'm going to stop the audio recording here at 2 hours and 12 minutes in. I'll just show you that I'm stopping that audio recording. If it focuses, thanks GH5. Come on, come on, give me a focus. Slow to focus today. Wow, the GH5. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay, I'm going to stop the audio recording.
Okay, so that stopped. Just so you know that everything has been legitimatized. So now I'm just gonna go out and check this barbecue situation that I'm supposed to put together because that's kind of what I've been missing to do all day while I've been on this call to Optus. Here's the barbecue. It's gonna go in there. I gotta do that. So I'm gonna just start this barbecue thing, I suppose. A message from Optus. Says they're calling me back. Let's sit down and wait for this. Oh, that's um, we're out of time! I know, I know, I keep running out of time on my own vlog. I probably should get that checked out, right? Hey, if you like what you've seen here on this channel and you want to become a giver and you want to contribute maybe financially, the description field of this video has plenty of ways to do that. And if you want to be a giver on any other level, please consider subscribing or watching my previous vlog or a random vlog or you could even become a Patreon of mine right here. What's that? Yeah, yeah, we've got a bit of time. Yeah, I've got more time. Can't believe it. Let's just chill out here while we've got time. You got time? I've got time. We've all got time. <laughs>